Hi, my name is uh, Peter Skytte. I'm here on Martin Professionals booth on uh, Plaza Show 2011, where we have the uh, official launch of our new Mac Aura. But first of all, when we started to design the, uh, the Mac Aura, what we wanted to achieve uh, was to take all the benefits of the LED lights we have today, but remove all the disadvantages. We wanted to create a light that looks like a real wash light. That means if you have a fixture doing an orange beam, we want to see a lens which is circular and which has the same color as the orange beam. One of the ideas was to add an additional set of LEDs, some sort of like background or glow LEDs that sits behind the, uh, the other optical system. And that's what we call the, uh, the Aura Eye Candy System. So let me explain how the uh, Aura Eye Candy System works. Uh, if you imagine it's a set of individual uh, LEDs um, which can illuminate the lens. Uh, so in fact the way it can be used is that you can use the fixture not as a lining fixture, but you can use it as a scenic element to fill up for example back holes on the stage uh, to pixel map it or in whichever way you want to use it. But it's a pixel in, uh, in the scenic elements. With the aura uh, we can also mix uh, the background light, the aura light, uh, with the beam. And this way we create some really unique eye candy effects. We get a totally unique uh, look in the lens, uh, which is very pleasing to the eye. The way you work with the zoom, the way you work with the colors, you can make really subtle looks. So it just brings uh, the fish a little bit more alive, uh, or you can make it a, a lot more radical, so it's really like a visible uh, effect on the, on the lighting show, something that you really see. The two lighting systems, the beam lights and the uh, aura background lights, melts together into the, uh, to the front lens. Uh, you have a really good view angle on it, so no matter where you are in the audience or where the camera is, you can actually see uh, the whole light uh, illuminated. You can pixel map all your aura backlighting, and then you can control your beams from, for example, your, your console. So you can add your video content in the background on uh, your aura, and then have all the, uh, the beams doing the actual lighting on the stage. We have built in uh, an effects engine, uh, so you have a channel where you can uh, control, have easy control of this aura LED, so you don't have to do the programming all the time. So for example, I can say I want to have my aura uh, LED system linked to my beam color. Uh, so whenever the beam is red, my aura LED is, is, is also red. Then I can on a fader, I can put an offset, so imagine you have like a color circle. So if I give a little bit of an offset, uh, I, I, I switch the color of my, uh, my aura a little bit to the beam. So for example, when the beam is red, my aura is orange. I can make further phase shift so when my beam is, is red, my aura is blue. And this way I can make it more radical. We have effects which is relating to the strobe, for example, so when the beam is strobing, I can have the aura strobing afterwards with a delay I can set. The effects engine really allows the, uh, the programmer to do some really nice looks in a very fast and efficient way, which is often very required when you have limited time to, to, uh, to do a lot of new cues. So besides the, uh, the special aura effect, uh, the Mac Aura is very capable of wash lights. Uh, it has a, a zoom range that goes from a really tight 11 degrees out to a very wide 58 degrees. Uh, we have a very nice color palette. We're using an RGB white color system. So we can make really nice vibrant saturated colors. We can make really nice pastels. And we can do various shades of really good quality white. The fixture is very compact. It's only uh, 5.6 kilos. It has a single hang point. It's only 230 watt power consumption, which is good, of course, because you can daisy chain up to 15 fixtures just on, on, on one power line. But also, with a low power consumption, we need less cooling, so it's a really quiet fixture. With the compactness of, of the fixture, we can have really, really fast movement. So uh, we're doing movements with the aura that normally people associate with uh, movements from a scanner. So we're definitely looking forward to see the uh, Mac Aura on lots of shows and see a lot of creativity from, uh, from designers using uh, the new fixture.